because my husband is a Holocaust survivor and, and she felt she owed us so much because of the suffering the Jews had from the Catholics and she always apologized and I'm so happy to be here today and I'm so sad that she's gone. was so quick and um, she gave good instructions and I learned a lot from her. It was a wonderful experience and knowing Sister Rose was really too much. This was a, she was a phenomenon all by herself. She was an incredible, incredible lady. And the, the education of all people, of all groups, is the most important thing you can do to prevent any kind of bigotry and, and we have to reduce the incidences of prejudice born of ignorance and hatred. I believe that we have to live every day the words that we hear, that we embrace. And so I heard a lot today about carrying the message, spreading, learning more about politics, government, our world, so that we can all be informed citizens and to make sure that we never repeat things in history that should never be repeated again. To tolerate each other and not look for the bad, but look for the good and realize that people are people. And she was as feisty from the very beginning till the very end. You know, she never gave up. And I always wear her insignia. She is the cross of it and I am the star. She'll be long remembered both in the Catholic world and the Jewish world for a lifetime spent doing good deeds. She was an unbelievable woman. She was dedicated, she had perseverance, and nothing got in her way. Rose was certainly not the typical Catholic, and yet she was not a typical Jew either. And so the two of us got along very well. I had no problem fitting in here. And we're gonna all remember her for a long time. I thought it was inspiring and of course I like the part of everybody telling stories about their experiences with Sister Rose. This, this was really a wonderful program. I know uh, there was a lot of planning and, and thought that went into kicking this off uh, on, on behalf of uh, Dr. Marsha robbins Wilf. Uh, and starting it with Senator Menendez I, I think was an excellent idea. And today is a very, very thrilling day. It's a beautiful day, and I'm very happy to be here paying homage. Um, as a board member, I'll have to say I was very touched by the uh, senator's comments. Uh, they were inspiring, and I'm certainly proud to have him as our senator. Uh, he's, he's a terrific speaker, and his, his remarks were just beautiful. And I want to congratulate you, Dr. Bosman, the board, and and everyone involved with the Sister Rose Staring Fund for getting this uh, important lecture series started. I was very, very impressed with the senator and, and his remarks were on target. Well, I was very impressed at Senator Menendez's preparation, his uh, knowledge of Sister Rose and Holocaust study efforts. Uh, I have high hopes that his legislation spring forward will in fact be enacted and I think it's a great idea to nominate uh, Sister Rose for a Congressional Medal of Honor. You started this whole thing with yes. the Sister Rose. You were the one that pushed her because she was she wasn't going to do it by herself. You did it. That's, well, we it did it a, together. You did it together, Thank but you. it was you. Thank you very much.